Hi guys, my name is Kai Hendry. I am a Golang enthusiast. I love to use it and learn about it. So I'm not an expert, but I thought I'd love to share with you what I learned during work about Golang context, which I've always found a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna share with you what I learned <laughs> over the course of a week here now. So let me demonstrate. I have a GitHub project, uh, I have some code which I'm just going to go through one by one and I'm just going to explain um, that code and, and hopefully give you a nice story. So first off, in, in my, my, my directory labeled one, I'm just starting up with a simple Golang based web application. Um, there's a root, it's implemented by this function called index. And what I'm doing here is I'm logging the method and the request URI and printing hello. Um, I hope you can get that. So let's let's do that. Let's run it. Let's curl. So it printed hello there. And you can see that it printed some, some information there uh, about that request. Awesome. So let's go to the next uh, thing. So what happens when I have a couple of routes now? I have an index route and an about route, and I want to print um, the same thing again. Um, once, once again, I have to sort of duplicate the code here. Not ideal, but it, it does work. So let's do that again. And uh, about. So it prints about. Okay, good. Two different routes. So now, in the this is when it gets a little bit um, a bit weird. Is that okay? Now <laughs> I want to um, get rid of these two lines of code and I add a, what they call a middle middleware. I to be honest, I hate this term middleware, but anyway, that, that's what it's called. It's sort of like um, sits there in between the as the request comes in and as the handle, handle takes it. So now, as you can see, I don't need these two things. I'm printing it over um, information about the request in the middleware itself. So let's just see, see that's working. About, yep, yep, yep. Why doesn't it remember? Okay, great. It's working, as you can see. Sorry, I made it a little bit bigger and now it doesn't look that great. So what happens now if I want to not have it echo that context in the middleware? Maybe I want it in the logging context of each handler. Let me demonstrate. So um, here, I set up, it's called the handler. I, I'm not too sure what the, um, a better term for this, but I'm just calling it a handler. And and I have a structure here, which is the, 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 the logger, effectively. And the middleware basically sets up the logger and in each uh, handle, I now use that logger and that logger will give me these extra fields as well as tell me where, which which uh, which uh, handle I'm actually running or whatever. So let's run that. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't work. Now, why doesn't it work here? Because what I'm doing here is setting up the logger, and I have set it up with fail here just to just to prove a point. The point here is, is this this h log doesn't actually um, come into effect. This doesn't seem to uh, set this handler. And the reason I think is in a stack overflow is that a copy, since this handler isn't a, what do you call it, a point receiver, a copy of the, um, of the, of the logger is being, is being, uh, is being, 
manipulated by the middleware and and the fact that it gets set doesn't really matter it gets sort of discarded so so basically this um, logging element doesn't doesn't actually work it, it doesn't give any um, extra information extra context as you as you would want and this is what I was really being stuck with so how, how do you fix this now naively you could change everything to a pointer receiver so as you can see that the handler was changed to like star handler that means it's a pointer and you can see here I'm returning um, an address to the uh, to the to the logging handler and now this should work let's see it working cool and okay right so great I have the little info message and the extra context this is really useful when you're working with a bigger application now this is not great because I'm told please correct me below that this is not a good way of using pointer receivers is not a good approach because you could get um, a race condition and um, to be honest I did run it with go run race may not go and I couldn't get it to race but anyway anywho the fact of the matter is that this is not safe because it's changing this entry as requests come in and if you have lots of requests there could be some race condition so this is why sorry seven minutes in oh my gosh you want context so this is the logging middleware without the handler because it's not necessary and using the context uh, sort of construct it needs a key and I, I, I use this, this sort of trick to create a key and what I'm doing is setting in the context that that, that logging object and then in each handler I, um, I retrieve that logging I retrieve that logging um, uh, handle, I guess, or object, whatever, so that I can use it, as I'm doing here. So it's not, it's not super. I'm not really saving any lines of code here with all this stuff, but it does work. Let me let me demonstrate to you. So uh -huh. see, it's working. So yeah, that's hopefully an introduction, um, as I as I understand it, to the context, um, and and this has the the big benefit of not being susceptible, I'm told, to race conditions. Um, yeah, I'm not, as you can tell, I'm not overjoyed about the the number of codes and and uh, the fact that you know I'm kind of used to using a handler or what do you call it a pointer. Or a receiver I think is, is the proper term for it but here the context is supposed to be the way you should do it hence I'm making the video and I hope you learned a little bit about context and now what I what little I know about how to do it thank you for watching please subscribe for more and uh, like the video thank you bye